Hello everybody, so I'm going to demonstrate to you how to remove Infinix Hot 20 i that is X665C uh, MDM. So without rooting, no need to root, no need to do anything. Just flash the MDM file with CM2 and Dazzle. And as you can see, the model is X665C and that's the build number right there. 22 September 27 so if you're having this particular build downwards meaning CM2, uh, the broom is still the broom will still be working and then that means you can uh, use uh, local SLA or CM2 to uh, connect it in broom so right now um, let me Go to CM2 and then get started. So that's uh, let me open the device manager so that you'll be seeing everything live. So as I connected the device, you are going to see uh, the port should be able to show up on device manager, and you will uh, be able to track um, the progress live. All right, so this is my device manager, and then so now to work it, I'll just take local SLA and identify the device first. So since the device is not broom blocked, uh, pressing down volume up and down, then connects USB will now uh, allow CM2 to dictate the device in. Um, in broom mode so that's why I had I ticked the local SLA so now just press volume up and down connect your USB cable and then CM2 should be able to dictate in broom so also as you can see in device manager the device uh, show up in port command LPT section so now CM2 uh, is doing its thing to identify and as you can see, the information is shown. So let's assume uh, your device is above uh, uh, October, uh, above um, September, maybe it's October, November, December, or 2023, uh, which means you cannot use um, a broom to connect. So there's a new broom. Uh, true preloader connection that you can use with the new TM2. So now let me just back up my NVRAM and keep so that uh, after the work, in case if I had any network problem, I'll be able to restore it back. So that's why I'm uh, backing up my NV NVRAM. So. So the NVRAM is uh, done backing up. So just locate the NVRAM and rename it or add anything to it to be uh, for easier recognition. Because if you check, um, if you checked the uh, backup folder, NVRAM backup folder, you're going to see a lot of backups there with almost uh, random names using the IME numbers. So if um, by any chance you did not rename it, Anytime you need it, you might not be able to recognize it because the name will look identical and you might not have the original email on the phone to allow you dictate. So now I will just add the name X665C at the beginning. So whenever I need the NVRAM, I will just come straight to it. So now back to CM2 and now... Uh, writing the MDM file we we'll just do as normal as we do okay so now what I was trying to do here is um, I'm trying to copy all the lock the progress locks for the work I've done 
for the identification and other stuff. So these um normally I do this to just for precaution. For precaution, just in case if something happened to the device in the process, I'll be able to trace back and know the original information before I started the uh, work. So that's just a precaution. You might not need to do that, but if you want to uh, save yourself the problem later, that's why you should do this. So now let me just head up to my MDM file folder and then locate the uh, hot 20 i uh, file and then extract it. So that's my MDM file. Uh, now it's extracting. So this is uh, going to take a while, so kindly be patient and uh, wait, or you fast forward it to. So I think I'll just uh, cut out some parts in order to make the video short. So guys, um, I just cut out some part and the extraction is done. After the extracting, that's how your folder should be. And I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to make some modifications. But by the time you get the, you get to buy the MDM file, you should see everything in order. You don't have to make this modification. So all you just need to do is uh, you load the firmware on CM2 and then you double click on you okay so let me just so you open uh load the mdm file so you load the scatter file and now you look for super partition so that's uh my super so you just expand it and you go to file yeah, that one with long whatever, showing your location of super. Double click on it and then you pick super.bin from the MDM file folder. So after you picked it, then you tick on flash erase and untick all other partition. Update PMT, check compatibility, whatever, untick them all. And then you click on right flash and you type yes and you confirm. So now you just have to uh, do the same thing. You take your phone uh, as usual. You press down uh, the volume up and down. Then you plug in your USB. So it's going to connect in a few seconds, as you can see. And uh, CM2 will take its time to flash uh, the device. So you just have to be patient and let it uh, flash complete. So I just uh, fast forwarded the flashing process and now it's done. So after flashing the MDM file, the next thing you do is uh, to go and unlock the bootloader. So to do that on CM2 as usual, go to service section and then you see unlock bootloader, click on it and same process, connect your device and let the bootloader 
uh, unlock So now the bootloader is uh, been unlocked. After unlocking the bootloader, the next thing you just go to this uh, format section and wipe uh, user data. So the only thing you do is uh, select wipe user data, not smart reset or anything of that nature so after wiping the user data then you can now turn on your device and let it boot to home screen that's all you need to do <clears throat> no need to root the device install any app on installer whatever whatever so you just get the mdm file you write the mdm file Unlock bootloader, web user data, and that's all. Security plugin will be gone and it's permanent. You can wipe the device, no problem, will not relock. So guys, um, that's it. After just flashing, you can see the security plugin is gone. No need to root, no need to do anything and it's permanent.